welcome back to the channel guys on this video here we're just doing a lot of streams and just having a good old time wandering around doing this doing that but it is just streams man we ran into a tunnel we found a causeway we found some nice drops and we had to watch the trees sticking up in fear of being harpooned so buckle up set back and enjoy the show and while you're at it if you don't mind hit the like subscribe and leave me a comment man it ain't gonna hurt you just do it I definitely have the wrong tires on this time for streams I mean the 35 inch rock zillas eh. but I just got done doing some crawling or some rocks and some difficult trails and I wanted to didn't feel like going all the way back to the camp to change them out I 10 to 1 would have rather had my 32 inch rockabillies on there my brother Tom wasn't with me on the last one that me and Gary went through the creeks and He's like, He'd I'd like to do that too. I'm like, let's go do it. Ivy Branch, the old Ivy Branch is loaded with surprises. There's some trails that are not marked. There's outlaw trails all through there. And from, you know, when you're staying like Big Earls, like we do, you've got so many different places you can go to. You've got Turkey Branch. You've got um, the old trails at Ivy Branch, of course, and the ones that are not even marked or registered. That you don't see then you got Hobet and also you got the Ivy Branch trail system itself so there's four places you can go to and never have to load your unit up on your trailer you can't beat that Considering the streams, I mean, if you get to a spot that's uncrossable, if you look left and right, there's nothing that you can't crawl out of to, you know, to reposit, you know, to go up and around the obstacle. And you don't always know what's up top. If you look into the right there, you can't always tell. But if we needed to get up off to the right, we would have. When we originally went there, we were going to just bust up some mountains and make trail that way, but, you know, we saw the streams and it was hot, really hot. It was 92, 95 degrees, the humidity was thick, and we figured if we get a little wet, so what? It's cooler than going straight up a mountain and eating dust. I mean, there's access from uh, Route 119, a highway. That's how that red truck was able to get there. There's just access points all to these trails. nice about riding in the stream sometimes is that you don't have to worry about tire placement but one thing you do see is tunnels I was so shocked when we pulled up on this so what that tunnel serves is it goes directly underneath highway 119 so this tunnel is probably a quarter to a third mile long and we're questioning if I can get through it. I know I'll get through it. I just didn't know what was on the other side, which really made me nervous. It could have been a drop-off, a waterfall, or whatever. But I'm driving 8 to 10 miles an hour, and you can time it for yourself. This is a pretty long tunnel. 
Nice and straight though. My brother Tom is anxious behind me. He didn't want to... Nobody wants to ride behind me. I don't understand. And he made sure when we go back through that he's ahead of me. We were on the other side of Dix Creek, and up to my left, which you can't see, which you will here in just a second, Look is a nice that. ramp the to the top of, of the highway. Are we? Yeah, Gary missed it, didn't he? We did not see that. You think we can make it up back? I don't know. I'm going to pull off this It's really steep. Hey, Tom. And this is one time I was kind of glad to have my Rockzilla's on there. Block? And one of the reasons I wanted him in front of me is in case something were to happen, he could slide back and hit me instead of rolling all the way down the mountain. It looks like a causeway is what I was saying just to allow the water Guys, from up on the highway to come down. We're gonna give it a shot. And you really can't tell how steep it is, but it is really steep. But it's smooth until you get so far up. There's rocks and soldiers. They're standing up like soldiers to break the water speed up from the water coming off the top of the highway. And what we think, we didn't make it all the way to the top. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Having to back down off that thing. As you can see by the trees. Look at the angle of the trees. They're going up level. Well, or plump. Not expecting this. That's really pretty steep. But we were concerned that there were barbed wire at the top. And we wouldn't have been able to get through. I could see it off to my left, which the video's not showing it very clear. Oh, you might be saying there's barbed wire fence there. Yeah, that sucks. I was looking forward to going up there. That sucks too. Sometimes you find a pot of gold and it's filled with fool's gold.
taking them center blocks, four inch center blocks standing up all the way through the wall. Well, you can go with center blocks. If any of them's broke and got sharp edges, we'll have to go through a tire. Once you get up there so far, it's what they are. I mean, they're center blocks all, all the way across just to slow the water down. Yeah. He was absolutely right, you though. You reach my and pull it in. Cinder blocks. Four inch blocks standing straight up all through there. How tall are they? It's about that tall. It's going to get enough wood to bust the tire. We can get over them. But the problem is that they're there to keep the water from building up speed. But the thing is, where are we going to be up there? Other side of Dick's Creek. Is there a fence up there that we can't get through? I know because I saw the barbed wire fence going up this way. And it might cross over. So where are we at right here? We're on the other side of Dick's Creek. On her side. We yeah. thought about it. Well, this creek will eventually go to the river. Let's do it. But there was no chance of making Let's it as you see it. That was so cool, too, man. I want to do that, man. Tell you what, for a 2016 Wildcat, man. He has put that thing through its paces. He will squeeze the blood out of a turnip. He's the type that will squeeze well, blood from a turnip to, to get every red blocks, thing out of it. I don't want to bust a tire either. It's steep enough. And that and we 2016 time, Wildcat, he has definitely gotten his money's worth out of it. we do get through these trees that are sticking up here you have to be careful when you're running anywhere honestly because if one of them sticks to, were to break and point towards your floorboard it literally and if you haven't seen it look up the videos where they came through the floorboard and impaled people so you have to be absolutely careful doing that Because it can come through the floorboard, and depending upon where it's pointing, you may not like what happens. It was dead. All you had to do was bounce into it. Move that thing, Vicky. <laughs> we call him the Hulk. You could have drove through that, you big sissy! Guys, I've been running this thing pretty hard on certain spots. Now, my belt temp stain at 186. We it call him the Hulk sometimes because him being a big old country boy, okay. he does not know his own strength.
try to get him to let me build him a new cage for his and uh, make it look a little more serious because the engine is great. It's got good power. It handles great. And, um, but he's the type that leave well enough alone and, then, and that's fine. points on the top of my roll cage was such a great deflector for uh, sticks like that. Keeps it from knocking my lights off the roof. He didn't like being in the tunnel, so he wanted to go first, so his claustrophobia would not kick in. It's a pretty long tunnel, though. This old tunnel here goes underneath Highway 119. Getting up that side was a little more cattywampus than the other side. It was more flat. But they still had the bricks, the soldier stones, all through it. So, it was a waste of his time. Yeah. You may have to hit it more straight and then talk Yeah, they do. But, yeah, if you... but I don't want to get up by halfway and then have to back, back off of it. I can see the soldier stones from there. No sense of wasting my time.
Yeah. I didn't know I'd get halfway up there. You definitely end up on your roof. You get camera just right there. That's the only bad spot is right there. I know. You hit that wrong, you're coming off of it. Ended up turning around and finding some other uh, sections to ride at oh, in a stream. That's what I'm talking about. No gear. always about the yeah, rock no. crawl or the how much mud you get. Things like this are fun as well. We spent hours doing it. Literally, I didn't know where I was driving. The video does that no justice either. These are one of the times I'm talking about you got to be careful. You don't know what's going to be sticking up, what can come through the floorboard. You just you never have a clue. Ah. Let's get Mickey coming over. After a rain, this would be really, really good. You know, another five or six inches of rain, or and the water three or four here, times higher. Low maintenance, low effort, just having fun. Would this be fun with 10 people? I don't know. I can't get two people to ride with me, let alone three or four, or five or six, or a group. I don't even bother asking. I've invited several people several times, and um, it's like a whale in West Virginia. It just doesn't exist. It's a pretty tough little spot here. <laughs> Book it, but yeah, oh, you'll man, see Tom go through here in a few minutes. <laughs> Wait, do you see how much this swallows the back of his unit up? He wanted to go first in case he got hung up in there. I could winch him out. 
I wouldn't be winching them out. I'd be going the other side and pulling them through it. Where you decide to go through it. We can go through it. Just I don't know what's ahead. You gonna do it? Lock it in. It's gonna be interesting. Watch him drop, guys. <laughs> Watch it drop. I got so tickled about that. That was more than a hard Watch this. Oh, <laughs> the whole unit disappeared. <laughs> that was a three foot plus drop, man. And <laughs> you'd never know it. If you just fly through this creek, you have no idea. You hit that, you have a bad day. And hear me try to be Mr. Careful. Lug the water all over me. Oh man! Wow! I'm gonna bust his face. Hey, Vic! They went all up over me, man. I didn't have any dip lock and that tire spun and flung it all over me. Got back up a little bit. I guess he chose not to. I think we're coming up on the campsite. I don't know if I put that video out yet or not, but if I have, you know what I'm talking about. If I haven't, then yeah.
made it. right there. I was going to jump out of there and waylay him. should have done in the first place. Oh, good. Should have done that in the first place. Huh. Wise man once said that.
we were you not able to push right through that. <laughs> I just yeah, we weren't going through yeah. that. There's no way we we're gonna make it through that one. seems to think it's too tight for us to get through there, so we end up coming out of there. That could have been a fun spot, but that old big Bertha tree did not want us to go through there, so we went around. Look at this, you don't have a clue where you're going. You don't know what's around the next bend. You don't know if you can make it through this spot or through that spot. It's, it's a guess. Oh my God, I don't know. This is the fun part about exploring streams. Wild streams like this. I mean, not rivers where the water's going to be 10, 20 foot deep. But stuff like this. This is just so cool. And it's, like I said, it's obvious no one else does it. Some of this Gatorade stuff, whatever it is. Powerade. I hear somebody down there. All right. Smell some gas, man. That's probably your overflow again. No, oh, I smell that too. I thought there was a pipe right there. Uh oh. Wants me to go first and knock all the briars out of the way. Well, that's one spot was way too tight.
I think I'll pass on that one. Way too small for my unit. I can tell is that I'm heading towards a creek. I have I no idea there. what the drop is. Anything. You just it's just what you do. But Tom will come and save the day for me. Over here. the question. He just won't go for it. Sometimes he's carrying pickle jars between his legs and sometimes marble's the best. This is a longer video than normal, but you know what, guys? Sometimes it's just fun seeing what our day consists of when we're out on the woods. This is basically unedited. Just put the pieces together. Me and I did cut some of the fluff out when we were just sitting around talking. Yeah, what are you getting through there? That was a hard hit. Talking smack, and one. you know, we just it's hard on me too. we just do. But from start to finish, this is basically what we drove in that two to three hour time span. 
to get back down in there. I don't think we can get in there. We have to get in down over here. Uh, it ain't the creek. It's over here now. It's over here. Well, I said we can't get in right there. No. We have to go down a little further. And you never really know, you know, what conditions you're going to come into. You know, I'm running a 72-inch model, which is about 75 inches wide, with a 102 or 104-inch wheelbase, and I'm running 35 Rockzilla stickies. And he's running a 94 or 93-inch long, you know, wheelbase, 64-inch wide model, and running 30-inch uh, plus terabytes. But you just never know what conditions you're going to be in, so you just, you know, it's a chance you take when you're in these streams. But it's fun. This is just about where we stopped at. I pull up out of the stream here and uh, we ended up going over and finding the train tracks. I'm pretty sure the train tunnel. And that'll be in another video. Um, actually with locations how to get to it. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up, thumbs down, either which way. Um, subscribe if nothing else leave a comment you know so hope to see you next time peace out god bless